This is uh, incredibly encouraging uh, data and progress. For more than two years, ambulances in Multnomah County frequently arrived late to emergencies, if they were even available at all. The county and ambulance provider AMR disagreed on how to respond to a shortage of paramedics, blaming each other for the dangerous conditions. Not anymore. It's nice to also just feel the tone and tenor change on this issue and to really focus on uh, being good partners forward. A compromise reached in August allowed AMR to staff some of its ambulances with a hybrid model of one EMT and one paramedic. And three months later, both sides seem content with the progress. We've gone 90 days. We're trending in the right direction. But it's, you know, it's 90 days. It's, like, yeah. I, I'm not sure what the magic number is. Well, like for us, this has actually worked a lot better than we anticipated. Um, all the data and trends would indicate that it isn't going to be 12 months or 24 months. We're talking a matter of months, weeks. Data shows AMR is getting closer to full contract compliance, which includes getting to 90% of emergency calls in urban areas within eight minutes. Commissioner Sharon Myron explains that's just part of the picture. For me, it's about saving lives, getting people to ERs faster, even if it doesn't come within the eight minutes. And that's where the ambulance staffing change has produced the biggest results. The most alarming statistic for late arriving ambulances is called level zero, the code for when there are zero ambulances available to respond to emergency calls. 911 dispatchers forced to wait for an ambulance crew to become available and a caller left without immediate help. At the start of August, AMR Multnomah County averaged about 20 hours a week at level zero. 20 hours when someone could call 911 and have to wait. Since then, weekly level zero numbers have decreased significantly. Last week, AMR reported just 25 minutes at level zero, a huge improvement that AMR leaders praise. We believe this is a harbinger of great things to come with our other compliance metrics. More importantly, the citizens of Multnomah County will have the service they have come to expect from AMR over the last three decades. There still are concerns. Teamsters Local 223, the union that represents AMR paramedics and EMTs, wrote a letter to the county saying newly hired EMTs are coming in with gaps and lack the quality in their training, something county health leaders acknowledge. I'm not sure that I'm surprised at seeing uh, that concern at this point either. Um, they were under a very tight time frame to hire a very large number of people. Uh, as they become more fully staffed, I think we'll, we'll probably see that get addressed. County leaders say they want to meet at least quarterly moving forward to check the progress of ambulance response times.